M0FXB. Just doing this video on uh, on the group mode and the the Digi ID function. So if you have a look here, see the way it says just here TX. On my one, I've set it at zero one and zero two, and on the FTM three hundred, it's just here it says RX zero zero. So. Let's put these two radios into group mode. So right now we're using my Pi Star hotspot to connect me straight into Hubnet, which is YSF96265 on the Pi Star list. So what we'll do, we'll hit them both and put them in GM mode. So you do have to be in digital narrow and connected to your well to your hotspot. I think you could probably do it simplex. I haven't tried that, but right now we're just using my hotspot. So hit GM there, and we'll hit it on the other one as well. So straight away you start to get these squares up here. See if I can just get rid of the glare a bit. There you go, you can see these squares appear and the distance from you to the station talking does show up. I've seen it on, if someone else comes in on, you know, say from the USA, you can see that there's, you know, it will say like thousands of miles. If you tap the actual squares, no, that, that doesn't do anything. Let's try something different. If you hold down the GM button, you get the option to change the DGID TX and RX. So that means, so let's say you want to talk to someone, one of those squares, you can both assign each other a number and then only you will hear each other. So it's, it's and they call it the DGID. And I've never really used it, but I just thought I'd make this video on it. So let's, let's do TX1 and RX2 and let's see if we can do it on the other one. What I might do is pause the video and just try and do it simplex, but let's just hold down the GM. Let's do the TX, set the TX at one. And the RX at two. Let's go back. So it's not showing the TX, but that's because it's probably because it's in receive. I bet you if I hit transmit, yeah, then it shows the the TX and, and the RX. Let's just check that I did do that right. Hold it down. Yeah, I should have done the, the, the RX at two, shouldn't I? So look, so we'll do that at two. Then we'll go back. Right, so RX is 02, and when you key the mic, TX is 01. And then here, same again. It's on the FT3, it does show both. So, right, I'm not keying over people because they're, you can't key over someone as they're talking on DN with a hotspot. So, now, I notice on the FT3 you've got an APL, which I'm, if you look, DGID, TX, RX, can you see how there is some sort of lo location capability here when you're using these different ID numbers, so it's possible you know on using this system that you could maybe locate someone using these numbers as well so i haven't used it but it does actually did you see that so i got a feeling there's some sort of location stuff going on here using gps now we have got a gps lock on the ft3d so as you know as you can see i don't really know what's going on so you can get that back out so I, I, but what I have seen is that with these group mode squares, if there's, you know, three or four people talking at the same time in the same room, that they will all appear and, and all their distances will show. I'm just trying to see if I can, on the FT300, if I can find, yeah, so if you hit DISP, look, you get the same, you get the distance. Now we haven't got a lock here, but I'm, I'm guessing you could, I could select in the menu 
to have a manual a manual distance you know manual gps so it's pretty good so what i'll do i'll just pause the video i'll get these into sim simplex and then we'll have a test to see if how this D dgid works uh, if if it works at all right we're in simplex there's no hotspot connected so what we'll do we'll hit the gm button We know what our ID is. We hit hit the GM on the 300. Turn it up. When you're in GM, it does every now and again transmit. So I'm, I'm guessing it's transmitting your location details. So let's just try and talk on one of them. I'll just grab the microphone for the 300 and see if I can be heard. One, two, three, test. Yeah, so it's got my core sign coming through. Let's turn it. So, one, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. Yeah, so I'm not hearing anything. But I am trying to do it from radio to radio. One, two, three, test. Yeah, so I'm not hearing anything. So I don't really know how that would work. Let me know. I'm pretty sure you can actually send messages as well. So if you look at the FT3, you've got the word log. And if you hit log, look, you get, you get three choices, voice, message, or picture. So I'm guessing that I could, in theory, send a picture. I don't know how to. Go back. And then if you want the AP and log to appear on the FT300, push the F button. And you get the same choices. APL and log. So hit APL. Well, you have to use the button on this radio. It's the FT300 is not touch screen. Now these radios side by side just look so nice, don't they? APO, and if I turn, oh yeah, it's, can you see that? And when it does, I know it's when it transmit there, it went into DW, so maybe it needs to be that. And APL, what's that, what does that mean? Now we've got RXO2 still. So is it more about location? Hello, one, two, three. Maybe I should have set the volumes higher before I went into group mode. I'm just going to try that. Come out of group mode. I'll turn the volumes a bit higher. Oh, they are high there. and no, They are definitely high enough. I'll go back into group mode. So, GM. GM. And then we'll just try to speak. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now what I'm wondering is, have I set them backwards? If I hold down the GM, let's set them back to zero. See how I'm doing it? Using the GM button, let's go back. So I've set them to zero, you can see zero, zero. I'll do the same here so it's Hold down the GM, hold down the button on the 300, go to zero, and again, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now we'll go back, right, so, yeah, we're still in GM mode, see the way it's got me, it's my... FT3 is transmitting to the FT300 and and vice vice versa. There's no distance because the radios are right next to each other. So now let's see if I can be heard with the PL tones. One two, one two three, one two three. Yeah, so I can be heard. So maybe you've got to set them backwards. Maybe on uh, on the TX. Um, so let's do it. So let's go. Hold down the, and we'll set the TX at 
one again by press GM. Yeah, and then we'll go down to the other one with the turning knob. Set set that sorry. Two. We'll set that at two. Go back. Okay. Right, so this time we need to set the TX at two on the FT three hundred. So hold down the GM. Two, and then we'll do the RX at one. Okay, back in GM mode. Right, so it's it's quite funky. I think if I put this on a busy um, reflector on Pi Star, I think it'd be quite interesting. Now that it'd be interesting if we can actually send a picture. I, I will have a look at trying to send a message. Let's turn this down. Too much glare here, but anyway. So let's try and talk now and see if it hears me. One, two, three, test. Yeah, and now it's working. So it's pretty obvious that when it TX is on one, when I've got this one set on TX transmitting on one, it obviously this one has to be receiving on one. So that's quite obvious, but yeah, well, you know, we're just playing around. So let's just TX on the FT3. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so you can hear the echo. So it's quite fun, you know, I think if you're out in the woods, you know, and um, you've got your GPS coordinates in there, and you can, instead of sending all your data and coordinates to everyone, you can select who you send them to. So if I was in the woods with my, my friend M6LSJ, for example, and I said, right, let you and me, let's set our... RX and TX to, you know, one and two. And then our position will be getting transmitted. Then not everyone needs to take, needs to receive that because there might be 10 people in the woods transmitting their positions. So we can actually find each other. We can sort of locate each other because uh, as we get closer, the distance gets closer. So I think that's, that's really cool. So anyway, so let's do the uh, APL. Now let's do the log one. Which I haven't done. Let's go to message. Now, how do we select message? Tap the screen. Not sure. I'm guessing that's an old message. So let's try and do a new message. So we'll go tap the screen. Tap it again. Now, how do we send the message? Um, should we try edit? We'll just go. Hi. Just go hi, okay? So we got. I think we got a message in there. <laughs> um. So we'll go back. Hi. Now, how do we go back? I'll work it out. Yeah, I think it was just a matter of pushing the back button. So now let's scr let's try send. Right. Okay, we did the send thing. Now let's go into the log here. We have to use the button because it's not touch screen. Messages. I'll go back. How does it do this? So we are trying. Um, so look, you can send the messages to all or Andy. There you go. Now we were able to send our oh, my position to myself. So let's view it. Oh, wrong one. Okay, and I can actually reply. What do I, can I put anything to? Again, I can just, I just put G for now. And then I'll, it won't let me scroll to it. So I'm just gonna send send. There you go, let's go down, it came to the other radio.
Let's scroll down to it, select it. Can't see a G, but got a couple of messages there. Oh, there's the G. So you get the idea. You can see that I don't really know what I'm doing, but this uh, the GM function, the sending position data to each other, the being able to filter out who it goes to, I think it's a very, a very good feature. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. And if you like my channel, sub please subscribe. And uh, if you've played around with this, um, let me know, because it seems very neat. 7-3, all the best.